Well, we turn now to the controversial execution overnight in Alabama. A convicted cop killer stopped eating his final meal after he thought his life would be spared. But then a reversal by the Supreme Court allowed his execution to move forward. Overnight, Alabama's executioner putting Nathaniel Woods to death, capping an end to a whirlwind final days for the convicted cop killer and his supporters. A jury found Woods guilty in the 2004 killing of three Birmingham police officers. And although prosecutors said Woods was not the gunman and Woods' convicted accomplice said he alone killed officers, Woods was found guilty on capital murder charges. The fact that folks think as a result of the fact that Nathaniel Woods was not the shooter, that somehow or another that's been an objection I found very difficult to process as a prosecutor. After exhausting all options, Woods said his final goodbye to his family Thursday afternoon. But in the minutes leading up to his execution and just as he was eating his final meal, the Supreme Court issued a temporary stay, putting a pause on the execution. His advocates celebrated, including Martin Luther King III, who tweeted, Amazing news. Great work, everyone. But then a stunning reversal. The Supreme Court lifted the temporary stay, allowing the state's executioner to move forward. In a statement this morning, Woods' family says they'll continue fighting to clear Woods' name, saying he's an innocent man and that will always be the truth. We are not giving up. The state's attorney general, however, insists justice was served. Tonight, Nathaniel Woods, one of two cop killers in the bloodiest day in Birmingham Police Department history, has met his just fate. The daughter of one of the police officers also fought the execution. The Supreme Court did not explain its decision.